What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest for Black History Month. You know, we've been interviewing all our internal employees. So today we got Casey. Casey, please let the world know who you are. Um, thank you, Omar. I am Casey Jackson. I am the customer care JD um, finish line manager. Mm -hmm. And um, I have been with the company for 16 years. 16 years, wow. I just started last year, so you were a vet. <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> cool, so let's get into it. Tell us about the Boys to Kings uh, program you've established. It sounds like you've been doing some amazing work. Uh, I try my best. Um, Boys to Kings was established in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, it, it all stemmed from me just being a mom and an auntie and just someone who loves children. Um, I, I'm a natural leader, so I love to, anywhere I can influence, anybody I can influence, um, I, I, I will, I love it. And so um, just being around young men, um, because I am a mother of two sons, um, mm -hmm. It, it just felt natural to to gather boys um, to help them be able to just um, express themselves in a comfortable environment, to share insight without being judged, yeah. um, to identify things that are important to them, not the world, but to them. And... Um, Boys to Kings was created with one sleepover uh, event that I started uh, with about 20. I, I only wanted maybe 10 boys and I ended up getting 25 <laughs> boys. Mm -hmm. And um, that that was that was the start to to this program. And um, it was definitely an avenue for young boys to to feel at home and and to feel um, that they they were valued. For sure. I think that was a, a, a great word because, you know, especially in some situations today, I can see how kids might not feel valued. So the work you're doing is extremely important. So um, take us through the work that you actually do with the kids, you know, that, make, that turns them from boys to king. Yeah, so what Boys to Kings does is we anchor young boys, young men, and we call them kings. So the Boys to Kings is, is more of, we know you're a boy, we know you're a young man, but yeah. we want you to identify yourself as a king. And, if, and, and it's important for them to know um, that they're not just an, a, a boy, you know, and they're not just a kid, um, but they are a king, um, and they have a lot to contribute to the world. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, we create environments through development sessions, through field trips, through tutoring. Um, and we create environments and we, we, it's usually strategic. It's always an agenda. I always have an agenda behind it um, because I want it to be purposeful. I want them to leave with something. And it doesn't matter if it's in a, a small environment or if it's a big event that Boyce the Kings is hosting. Um, we, we want it to be purposeful and we want them to leave with something. So Boyce the King has had basketball tournaments. We have had um, four to six week developments um, to just focus on specific things um, that will empower them and that will allow them to, to actually embrace just their natural skills yeah. of being young men in this world. And so we've done that through development sessions. We've done that through field trips. Again, we've done that through overnight camps. We also get together just, you know, not even planned, um, but during holiday times, we, we get together and we go, do a, go out and do community service. Mm -hmm. We uh, make bags and we, don't, we, we give them out to the homeless. Um, so it, it's just a way to, and it's just an outlet for young men um, to really, really, also create a brotherhood too right. um, because as I've been working with young men um, 
they are they are more of introverts than extroverts and so mm -hmm. it, it can it, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of patience to get them out of their comfort zone but i i found that if you get them in a group if you gather them in a group if you make the environment relaxed and and judgment free that you can have some great discussion um you can you can get some good influence and you can actually allow them to pass the torch as well and, and help help their communities. And that's what Boys to Kings does. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like, especially with the extracurricular activities, that's how kids start to rediscover what they're passionate about, what they're good at. And it sounds like through the program, maybe to nurture those abilities and turn them into like, you know, people who, show empathy and you know so do good and serve the community so yeah kudos to you and the amazing work you've been doing with the kids thank you thank you it is it is a uh, work uh, we have more to come i have bigger plans for boys to kings it it, it is not just me it's going to take um more support from mm -hmm. the community more support from outside resources to to help us uh grow as a, a program, um, but we're not going anywhere. We've been established since 2015, so for five years, five years we've been strong. established. Strong. What was that, Omar? Oh, I said five years in and still going. And still going and, yeah. and, and have big plans. And it has been a pleasure to see young men from one mindset and as we continue to have our brotherhood and as we continue to work on our characters um, to see the growth uh, in the young men, it has truly been a, pre a pleasure yeah. in the last five years to, to really see this, this come. One little vision just to get some boys together to, um, to have some good conversation and um, some fun. Mm -hmm. um, to grow into something that is so much more bigger than me or or any of them individually, it has really been an honor and a pleasure to really see how impactful it has been uh, in our community. And I definitely, I definitely want to keep it going. For sure. And lastly, uh, where can people get more information on Boys to uh, people can get more information by going on Facebook and liking our Boys to Kings page. And when you think of Boys to Kings, you're thinking of the correct spelling of boys. Um, but the program is actually Boys, B-O-Y-Z, mm -hmm. the number two, and Kings, K-I-N-G with a Z. And um, they can definitely like our Facebook page. Um, all of my direct contact information is on that page as well. Um, please like it. Um, please comment. And please look forward to uh, some, some exciting things this year and, and upcoming with, with the Boys to Kings program. Sure. Everybody, make sure you go like, comment, engage with the page on Facebook. You know, thank you so much for your time. And the floor is yours, you know, for the last word. You want to shout out your store, <laughs> your, your boys in the program? Um, I, I really do. I want to shout out um, all of the boys that have ever participated or been involved um, in, in boy in any Boys to Kings event or, or outing. Um, it has truly been rewarding as, as the, the facilitator and the, the director of the program. It's just mm -hmm. been rewarding to see that they do get something out of the program. They leave with something. They're learning their value in life. Um, and, and they're also learning to love each other. And, yeah. and that is my mission. Um, until you can love yourself, you can't love anybody else until you can value yourself and know your values. You may be lost in your purpose or, or unsure. Mm -hmm. um, and Boys to Kings will definitely continue to help young men identify and, and know their values so they can be as purposeful and, and intentional in life that they can be. But I do want to shout out all of my mentors that continue to support me Ronnie Jefferson, Marilyn Ball, um, 
I appreciate all of the support, all of the support in our community in Indianapolis here, and just all of the support that I have always uh, received from JD Finish Line. Thank you for to everyone that has either donated or came out and volunteered mm -hmm. with Boys to Kings. It, it is truly appreciated. And my program, this program would not be successful without the support of the people uh, around, around me and us. And so shout out to everybody that has helped Boys to Kings. For sure. And shout out to you for putting it all together in 2015, you know. Something you had ideate and bring it to fruition now five years in, you're still doing your thing and doing even bigger things now. So again, Casey, thank you so much for your time and sharing the work that you do with the community. So yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Omar, for having me. It's such a pleasure. Um, you know, we most people who serve and are serving leaders, we don't do it for any type of personal gratification. Mm -hmm. We do it to continue to help and influence those around us. So I appreciate JD Finish Line for, for creating this platform. And I definitely appreciate you just your, your being relatable and understanding and, and taking the time to, to uh, taking the time for, you know, the little small things, but make a big difference. So thank you so much for, for this opportunity. No, the pleasure is mine for real. I enjoy these conversations a lot. So thank you so much, Casey. Cool. All right, that's a wrap. So thank you. Thank everybody again for tuning in. And yeah, looking forward to the next episode. I'll talk to you later, Casey. All right. See ya. Bye.